Welcome to 52 Miniatures. My name is Alex. Have a look at this. I'm so excited. How cool is this? Yeah? I'd like to tell you what this is and uh, how you can get a hold of it. A little while back, I built and painted this little diorama. I know you can hardly see it from there. It's tiny. It's in fact my hobby. Building and painting little things like this. This specific little thing caused a little bit of a stir in the community that we uh, miniature painters and builders call home. It's a female future space soldier, a so-called space marine, a shooting a snake in the vicinity of an apple tree. A fun, uh, sort of joyous little message of equality. The first female space marine. For those of you that don't know or don't care, this is a surprisingly hot topic uh, within the Warhammer community. There's a lot of people that think that she should not exist. And for an outsider, it might be strange that the sex of a small plastic toy soldier uh, can be of controversy. It is a little strange. Now, I was afraid that people might get upset because of religion. I called her Eve, for some, the first female. She is also blasting the head off of a snake uh, in the shade of a tree. A symbolic gesture of refusing to be at the receiving end of the patriarchal guilt trip and whip. Did, did you actually say that to them? Yes. Yes, I did. Eve doesn't give a shit. She shot the head off the snake and she doesn't even like the taste of apples. Apparently, I mixed up religions. I shouldn't have been concerned about Christianity. I should have been concerned about messing with the religion called Warhammer. The video amassed thousands of comments, hundreds of them uh, accusing me of heresy within the Warhammer realm, some to the extent of wanting to cause me bodily harm, almost to the point of threatening me on the subject of Eve and the snake and religion. I got one comment. But back to the subject at hand, there were a few other comments that stood out and they all sort of read the same. What's that cool poster and how can we get it? In reference to the mock-up poster that I made for the video, inspired by the sort of Uncle Sam uh, enlist poster, but with a bit more of a revolutionary message, calling this project the Eve Olution, a play on words, but also a sort of call to arms. Join the Eve Olution, a symbol of my little fight of working for equality in wargaming. At the time of the creation of the video, I saw the poster as a fun little thing just to add to the video, but after the posting and the troll-like response to the video, I realized it, it was a propaganda poster needed in real life. A rather strange thing. I considered the first poster half-assed visually, uh, but it was also based on a photograph of a Games Workshop miniature, an, an IP that I, I can't use. But I could make another one, and I could make sure it was a real good one. And so I did. This is the striking hand-painted original by Juan Gomez Cabello. Juan initially received quite a lot of feedback from me creating this in the form of facts and stories and images, making our own future space soldier. She started out a lot more rough, something that I very much enjoy. But I had another idea for this first poster. We strayed from our original Warhammer inspiration, adding an almost steampunk vibe, a style that both me and Juan admire. But there are a few taunts. Uh, the Aquila 
which is a it's a two-headed eagle that usually adorns uh, Warhammer Space Marines is in fact not a two-headed eagle uh, it's Isis the Egyptian goddess and yes even the lettering is hand-painted now there was not just a poster there was also a work of art and so here's the deal I won't drag this out any longer the Eve Olution poster can be found uh, on my website in the shop as a free download. You still have to go through checkout, but you won't be charged anything. This is printed from the same file that you can download for free. You can print it out to any size that suits you to have in your hobby room or at home. You can even print it out really small and just put it on your miniature terrain. I'd love to see this in hobby stores and gaming clubs. Regardless of the propaganda intent, it's just a really cool poster. So please, just go download it for free. And if you feel like sharing, just you know, take a picture of how you use it uh, and share it on social media, hashtagging evolution. Also, please credit the artist, uh, Juan Gomez Cabello when possible, to try and fund this venture, but also giving you the chance to owning a limited edition copy of the original artwork. I can't get over how good this looks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've gone through the process of creating fine art prints of the actual artwork. Available in the store on my website. Yeah, I had to make a website for this entire venture. The prints are of highest possible quality. Pigment prints on Hanmuller's studio enhanced paper printed at Sandeng print space here in Stockholm. Together with Sanding, I've after quite a few test prints and their professional knowledge rendered the closest match to the original hand-painted artwork. The feel of the print and the paper makes this spectacular feeling that equals the feeling of holding the original in your hand. This makes a great gift to someone who enjoys sci-fi art, be it yourself or someone you adore. And it goes beyond Warhammer. You know, just look at it. When commissioning Juan, the artist, I mentioned the possibility of, of sales, but I still felt kind of weird when I came to the conclusion that I was gonna sell, in essence, his art. So I contacted Juan and, and said, you know, I'd, I'd like to give you a percentage of whatever profit I make. Juan kindly reminded me that, you know, this was a commission and you've already paid for the art and the art wouldn't exist if it wasn't for your art direction. So instead, I've decided to put away a percentage of whatever profits I make out of this venture into uh, hiring, commissioning other artists for future work. So you're not only buying yourself a wonderful piece of art. You're enabling the free to download poster and also enabling a future commissioning of art, supporting artists within the community. Together with the limited edition print, uh, numbered by me by hand on the back, you'll also receive a postcard style prints of the poster itself and the very first Eve sketch, just because I adore it as well as uh, a letter talking about the work, all delivered in this very sturdy envelope. The pricing of this art is low in comparison to what you get. This print is really expensive. I'm doing all the admin, the shop, uh, getting the prints, going to the post office, uh, posting the prints, all to keep the cost down but I still need to sell quite a few of these. So please, um, buy one <laughs> and, and tell your friends, and tell your friends' friends. Uh, 
There's a limited edition. Get one while it's hot. Thank you for listening. Uh, in the description, there's a link to Juan's Instagram. Please check that out because he's a wonderful artist. And hopefully, with your help, I can commission him again. And in the link as well is the link to the shop where you can buy the art or download the free poster. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.